me Megs and I am back with another video and this video is about something that I have been using on my hair um, as far as my natural hair journey goes and my transitioning journey. I have been using this for some years now and um, you guys if you've been familiar with my channel even in my relaxed um, hair journey days I did use Jamaican black castor oil and it's something that I absolutely love. Um, I adore it. Uh, I feel that it works <laughs> because, you know, um, I still feel as though I have fine strands. So, um, I feel like I need all the help that I can get as far as health-wise. I know there isn't anything too much that I can do to uh, increase the size of my strands goes because I have fine hair. I do have a lot of hair, <laughs> but the strands are very fine, very, you know, I don't know what I want to say or, or how to describe it, but you know what I'm talking about. So, um, I, I wouldn't say I recently tried out this, but it's the Sunny Isle, um, Extra Dark Jamaican Black Cast Oil, and if you watched my monthly favorite video, I did mention this in that video, and a lot of you guys wanted me to go more into detail about, um, the Extra Dark Jamaican Black Cast Oil, so I purchased mine, um, from Sunny Isle, and it is, is this, yeah, this is the Sunny Isle one, and it says... The original authentic Jamaican black castor oil, extra dark Jamaican black castor oil, the only Jamaican black castor oil approved for export by the Jamaican government. So the one that I have here is the eight ounce and I feel like this lasts me quite a while because I do mix um, my Jamaican black castor oil with other oils to kind of dilute it down because Jamaican black castor oil is very, very thick and being that this is the extra dark a lot of people are like well what's that about so in general me speaking about Jamaican black castor oil is very thick oil and it does have a smell that's kind of like ooh <laughs> that's kind of strong <laughs> when I say strong that means it has a strong smell a very strong smell so I tend to mix mine uh, to thin it out because it is a very thick oil so, how do I use this? Because if you're not familiar, I do have um, a lot of Jamaican black castor oil videos pertaining to my relaxed hair um, that contribute to my relaxed hair growth and health. Um, I still use this Jamaican black castor oil in the same way, kind of the same way or similar way that I did when I was relaxing. Um, you can use Jamaican black castor oil for scalp massages. You know, just oil your scalp and really massage it into the air to, you know, promote growth, get that blood circulating um, into your scalp for hair growth. Um, I do add this into deep conditions as far as, you know, like, you know, the conditioner you put in a bowl and pour this oil in there and mix it all up and it just creates a heavenly experience for your hair. It makes my hair feel all so good when I add it to deep conditions. Um, I also use this to seal. I found that me being natural, my hair loves this to seal because it's heavier and I feel like, you know, being natural, I do have my coils in. My hair does need that extra love and a little heavier oil um, just to seal it everything and make my hair feel really moisturized to seal everything in. Um, that's Jamaican black castor oil for you. And Jamaican black castor oil is known to bring back edges if you, you know, have some, um, you know, it issues with your edges if they're thinning or if they're you know you damage them this definitely does help kind of bring those back to life with consistent use now a lot of people are asking like how how long did it take you to see results when you use Jamaican black castor oil I think it all depends on the individual but with consistent use I notice a big change in, in my relaxed days and now in my natural hair days because I use this uh this extra dark uh, Jamaican black castor oil. I'll use both. Um, I will say I noticed a difference as far as I, I don't know if I'm going to say it made my hair grow faster, but I just feel like I noticed a change overall with my hair when I use Jamaican, Jamaican black castor oil versus when I don't use Jamaican black castor oil. I feel like my hair feels more lush. In a, in, in a way, it seems thicker because it's I'm doing a healthy hair care regimen. You know, I'm not gonna say that. I don't know if I 
I want to say the Jamaican black castor oil contributes only to, you know, my hair, my hair health, but I will say it does contribute to <laughs> uh, my hair being healthy and looking and appearing fuller because I'm using this on a consistent basis with other things that I'm doing to my hair as far as deep conditioning and moisturizing and things of that nature. Now, when it comes to the extra dark, what's the difference between extra dark and the just regular Jamaican black castor oil? I will say I noticed that it was slightly darker. Um, I don't know if I'm tripping, but I noticed that it was a little, little thicker and a little stronger. Um, I don't know if I have any more left. Let's see. Ooh, I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? Probably can't see that. Can you see that? No, but it's it's brown and there's actually little bits of bits of things in here, which I like. I don't mind because I feel like the more it stays, the more I see, <laughs> the more the darker it is. I feel like the better it works. I'm just that person. I, I feel like I'm that person when I know something stink. I'm like, oh yeah, that's that's that good stuff right there. And I noticed that this was stronger, like as far as scent. Um, than the other Jamaican black castor oil that I had and it was a bit thicker now The benefits I still kind of see the same kind of thing with it Like I said before my hair does feel better. It feels really really soft when I use this I really like to pre poo with this as well Does 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 the hair real good? I just love this i do need to order some more though um i will read the back really quick before i leave it says directions um massage small amount of sunny isle jamaican black castor oil into scalp do not rinse out pre-shampoo hot oil treatment apply generous amount of sunny isle black castor oil into scalp and hair cover with plastic cap apply heat for 30 to 45 minutes shampoo in style that's a way that I definitely use it. I tend to sleep overnight with it with a plastic cap and have, you know, use it as a hot oil treatment. It just feels oh so good and I definitely notice changes with my hair. Um, it says other uses on hair repairs and replenishes dry skin and other skin conditions, muscle aches and arthritis pains. I don't know about that. <laughs> um, I don't put it on my skin. Let me know if you put this on your skin and how you like it. Now, um, I think that's pretty much it. And if you have been watching my channel for a long time, I have used the other other uh, castor oils, just regular castor oils. Um, I really don't see a difference as far as how my hair feels um, with just the clear castor oil and the Jamaican black castor oil. Um, as far as like, results goes but I will say that the Jamaican black castor oil I feel like it goes better with uh, other oils that I mix if that makes any sense it's kind of hard to explain so um like I said before I do mix this with other oils you can mix this with other oils it can be any oil of your choice it could be other carrier oils like avocado olive oil jojoba oil um coconut oil you can put essential oils in this to kind of liven up the smell like lavender oil rosemary um tea tree oil i do have i have used tea tree oil um with my mix to just give my hair an extra like stimulating experience so um like i said before pre-poos i use it for pre-poos i add it to conditions um i do scalp massages with this and i seal my hair with this and i absolutely love it and don't plan on stop uh stopping I don't plan to stop using it <laughs> um, if you guys do have any questions feel free to ask me I don't see a difference between the regular black castor oil the Jamaican black castor oil, or the black extra black castor oil I just feel like the black cast extra dark castor oil whatever it's called slightly darker and slightly thicker but I haven't noticed a difference in my hair and I've had this for a couple of months because I uh, thin it out with other oils like I said before I think that's it please let me know your experiences with using if you have used extra dark castor oil by any other brands and if there's something even blacker and more thick that I can use that's more potent please let me know because I've heard some things about people like 
saying like, oh, I got the real, real Jamaican black castor oil from the African store or, for the, or from their local Jamaican store. Um, if you're in the LA area, let me know where I can go so I can check it out for myself because I would love to. Um, as always, the description will have this in there. And there will be some tutorials of me actually using Jamaican black castor oil in my relaxed days that you can check out now because I still use it the same way. It's just that my hair is natural now. Um, I think that's it. I think I covered everything. And as always, thank y'all so much for watching and I'll see y'all later.